Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a glitch title text effect in VHCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a glitch title text effect in VHCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo video in the editor. So, this is my demo video present right here. And the first thing which we will do is we will add cinematic borders at the top as well as at the bottom of the video. And so to do that, double click on the video and then go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of this wipe transition is just 500 milliseconds. So increase the duration of the swipe transition so that it covers the entire duration of the video and then look inside the wipe settings which is present inside the properties window. Type is set to door so that's fine. Mode is set to vertical in. So change this from vertical in to vertical out. Directly set to false so that's fine as well. Inside transition levels currently the values are 0 semicolon 100. So delete these values and simply write 20 and then press enter. And finally inside gradient length currently the value is 50%. So delete this value and then write 0 and then press enter. Perfect. And as you can see we have successfully added cinematic borders at the top as well as at the bottom of the video. All right. Now the next thing which we will do is we will blur our video for the first four seconds in the timeline. So make sure that the cursor is placed at the beginning of the timeline and then go to video effects, go to filters, select box blur and then click on OK. Now currently box blur effect is placed above wipe transition. So drag this box blur effect below like this and first decrease its duration. So currently the duration of the box blur effect is 15 seconds, 833 milliseconds. So decrease its duration to just 4 seconds and then press enter. Perfect. Now look inside the box blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window and you will see this option called blur levels where currently the value is 1. So instead of 1, simply write 10 and then press enter. All right. Now we will add a second box blur effect. So simply click on this first box blur effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to create a duplicate. And now place this second box blur effect right after the first box blur effect like this. And first decrease its duration from 4 seconds to just 1 second so write 0, 01.000 inside the duration option and press enter and now look inside the box blur effect settings inside blur levels once again as you can see currently the value is 10 so first change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that you get two values to fill 10 semicolon 10 and now instead of 10 semicolon 10 write 10 semicolon 2 and then press enter. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you. So this is how things are looking on screen right now. Perfect. Now let's add a fade in effect. So place the cursor at the beginning of the timeline. Go to video effects. Go to transparency. Select fade in. And then click on OK. And finally, what I would like to add is custom transparency effect because my video appears to be too bright on screen. And so just to dim the light a little bit, I would like to add custom transparency. So place the cursor at the beginning of the timeline, go to video effects, go to transparency, select custom transparency and then click on OK. Now drag this custom transparency effect below like this and um, we will decrease the duration of this custom transparency effect. So currently the duration is 15 seconds, 833 milliseconds. So delete that and write 
zero five point zero 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 inside the duration option and press enter and now look inside the transparent settings where you will see this transparency option where currently the value is hundred percent so first of all change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that you get two values to fill hundred semicolon hundred and now delete these values and write 25 semicolon 100 and now press enter perfect and so if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start perfect perfect so this was just the setup guys all right and now we will add our text so we have come back to the main editing timeline and now what we will do is we will go to add object go to text click on text and then click on ok now mark your text object on top of the screen like this perfect and now double click on the text object and um, we will write something inside the text box so let me just write let's say monday and let me just center align my text by first clicking on center and then clicking on center align let me also change the font of my text to arial black and let me increase the text size to somewhere around 300 pixels perfect let me just center align my text box as well so first click on horizontal align center and then click on vertical align center perfect and now decrease the duration of the text object in the timeline so currently the duration of this text object is 15 seconds 833 milliseconds so decrease it to just four seconds so write 04.000 inside the duration option and press enter perfect now let me just slightly adjust my text box right here perfect and now double click on the text object and first we will add a fade in effect and and fade out effect so go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok now go to video effects once again go to transparency select fade out and then click on ok perfect and now we will add our glitch effect so make sure to place the cursor at the beginning of the timeline and then go to video effects go to special effects select glitch and then click on ok now currently the duration of this glitch effect is four seconds so first reduce the duration to just one second so write 01.000 inside the duration option and press enter and now drag this glitch effect below like this and look inside the glitch effect settings which is present inside the properties window so inside preset currently default is selected so click on this drop down list and select this fifth option called colors only select this fifth option called colors only perfect and finally what we will do is we will click on this glitch effect press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to create a duplicate and paste it and now place this second glitch effect right at the end like this perfect perfect and finally we are done so now let me just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start perfect so this is how you can create a glitch title text effect in bstc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video till then thanks for watching